Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Kerala at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre today. PM Modi dedicates three ISRO facilities to nation. He is also going to be reviewing the Gaganayan mission progress. I'm joined by my colleague Palak Bagla on the phone line uh, for uh, to talk about this visit of the Prime Minister to the um, ISRO site in Kerala. Uh, Palav, this is one of the key stations of uh, um, ISRO. Tell us a little bit about what does PM's visit uh, to um, ISRO mean today and how much of a push will the Gaganayan mission get by him visiting here? See, see the Gaganayan mission which wants to put an Indian astronaut in space on an Indian rocket from Indian soil is a pet project of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and that he is visiting the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre, which is India's main lab which develops rockets, is a very important visit and that he is reviewing the Gaganyan mission is also a very important step because it was he who pushed for Gaganyan and for an early completion of the Gaganyan. It's a mission which will cost about 10,000 crore rupees the single most expensive scientific experiment ever done by India in India. So this hopes to put anywhere between one to three astronauts in space on an Indian rocket. The Indian Space Research Organization is actively working towards completing the project. And last when I spoke to the ISRO chairman, uh, Mr. S. Somnath, whose visuals along with the Prime Minister we can see, he said that the project could well fly an Indian astronaut sometime in 2025. So there is still some distance to be covered. Uh, taking an astronaut into space and safely bringing an astronaut back is an important part. And all the tests that need to be done have to be safely completed. The progress is happening, but it is an incremental process which mm -hmm. cannot be expedited. Hmm. And all the tests have to be done carefully and completed with satisfaction. It is a big mission. If mm -hmm. India succeeds in sending an astronaut into space on its own capability, right. India would only be the fourth country in the world to do it. So it is a landmark moment. And the Prime Minister reviewing the Gaganyan mission at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center mm -hmm. is a milestone. It is a milestone moment indeed. And Pallav, talk to us a little bit about the importance of this particular space station that uh, our Prime Minister is visiting. It is, it is uh, probably one of those uh, landmark uh, sites in, when we talk about India's uh, space mission, which was uh, established by Vikram Sarabhai uh, a long time ago. It is the first uh, station and the first rocket launch from India which happened from Thumba, which is not far from the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, right. happened from here. And we can see on our screens a uh, Prime Minister having looked at the one of the first uh, robots which will go up in the uh, Gaganyan mission. Mm -hmm. And the Prime Minister is reviewing the different parts of the Gaganyan mission. We can see the crew module along with the, uh, the parachute, which will bring the crew module back, which was recently tested. And we can see the Vyomitra, the, the robot which will go up in one of the uncrewed flights on Kaganyan before humans are sent up. So the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center is the place where India has developed all its rockets from the first sounding mm -hmm. rockets to now the Bahubali or the launch vehicle Mark III all have been developed by the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. It is a, a pioneering institution of ISRO and the place where the main rockets and the thrusters and engines for the Gaganyan are right. being uh, finalized. So it's without uh, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, mm -hmm. uh, Gaganyan will not happen. And the Prime Minister himself mm -hmm. personally visiting the Space Center. And remember, Prime Minister goes and visits several institutions of the Indian Space Research Organization. Right. And this is just one among them he's visiting very recently. So it is... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, important visit and also it's a time for him to take stock of what is the progress because as I said it is a pet project of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and he himself mm -hmm. has been 
pushing very hard that India sends an astronaut into space. But before that, we may well have an Indian astronaut going to the International Space Station sometime later this year, which will be on an American rocket. Um, well, uh, Pallav, we are also talking uh, about PM dedicating three ISRO facilities to the nation. Tell us a little bit about what will be the three facilities that uh, he is going to be inaugurating today. Prime Minister is inaugurating several facilities. One of them is a semi-cryogenic integrated engine complex. He is also looking at the trisonic wind tunnel. These are all high-end facilities which have been developed by the Indian Space Research Organization to cater to the development of India's space program. And now a lot of these facilities have also been opened up for the private sector to test their uh, different parts of their program. So these are very important facilities which have been developed by Indian capability. And all of them will contribute in one way or the other towards the Kaganyan program. Well, while uh, we are talking about India's mission, ISRO, let's also tell our viewers what are the key other announcements that are expected to come through today uh, from the Prime Minister? Well, the Prime Minister, I am told, is also visiting uh, different parts of uh, to inaugurate several other facilities, which include some MSME uh, outlets, which he is going to be visiting in Madurai. He is also going to be later visiting the Thotukudi uh, complex and, mm -hmm. and later tomorrow he is going to be inaugurating the second launch site for the Indian Space Research Organization. So India has one launch complex at Sriharikota. Mm. The second launch complex in Tamil Nadu is going to be inaugurated or uh, I, I, I should correct myself, the foundation stone would be laid so that will be ready in two years to take up small rockets. Mm. So those are some of the things which the Prime Minister would be hoping to do. Mm -hmm. And obviously, he also has uh, political rallies and political commitments, right. which he would be fulfilling as the uh, person who is the Prime Minister of India and leads the political party. Uh, Palav, uh, before I let you go, I have to ask you about this government's, uh, you know, push uh, towards MSME sectors. What about, uh, you know, uh, the players that are uh, in... Uh, in space, uh, you know, in space research and the, the private players I'm talking about, how much push are they getting from the different government schemes and from what uh, Prime Minister Modi is talking about? See, the Indian space sector has always been supported by the Indian industry. Indian Space Research Organization gets its sub-assemblies and sub-parts from different industries and the big Companies like Lassen and Tubro, Godred, Godridge and Valchandnagar have always been contributing to the Indian space program. Mm -hmm. But off late, once the space sector and the startup industry kind of got going, there are many places where the What about the tech companies? What about the big tech companies? The big tech companies are not fully involved in this because if you're talking, they are mostly into software. But the big Engineering companies, which is Larson and Tubro, Cortridge, they are definitely involved in, in many aspects of engineering. And we can see Prime Minister looking at India's Space Vision 2047, and we can see the crew module, uh, which is there in front of him. Mm -hmm. And and the uh, chairman of ISRO, Sri S. Somanath, is explaining different aspects of the uh, Gaganyan program to the Prime Minister and we can see the first visuals mm. of what an Indian astronaut will look like mm. because India already has a plan to have send an Indian astronaut to the moon by 2040. That is what Prime Minister's vision is. So there are several things which are unfolding but within all of this, the startup sector is also revving up. There are more than 100 startups and there are two particular startups. One, Agnikul Cosmos mm. and the other, Skyroot which are all getting ready to have their first rocket launches. Skyroot mm. already had one. And Agnikul Cosmos mm. is getting ready to do a suborbital launch of one of their rockets very mm. soon. So these are all, uh, the, the whole, it no longer can be called a government program. So it is a national space ecosystem. Right. And the whole ecosystem is being revved up. Right. And all of this mm -hmm. in trying to make India the place for developing space technology, uh, 
with frugal and high quality. See, the Indian space program is known for its quality while also keeping the cost low. So, right. so whenever, uh, finally, if humans have to go and habitate the moon, mm. India will also be part of that. So that is the grand vision in front of uh, uh, the country and the Prime Minister is ably supporting that.